can't make that up. You can't make that up. We still did 200 miles an hour in Indy, but that was second. That was what we went for. Right. Can I tell you one more funny one like that? Of course. Husband, he's 20 years. This is, he's celebrating his 10th year, but he's been 20 years in the auto parts business because he started at USF working part-time and he has an auto parts company. Well, his passion was cars. So when he was in high school, I said, let's go see his, he loved custom cars. I said, where's the best custom car place? He said, it's in LA. I said, then let's go. So we get on an airplane, we fly out to LA, we rent a, a, a Sebring convertible. We go to East LA. <clears throat> East LA is a bad neighborhood. I mean, bad neighborhood. Cops don't even like to go to that neighborhood. I didn't know that. I'm just riding there because he tells me this is where the best in custom cars are. We open the door to walk in. So I go, go tell him, hey, we're here to visit you. And these two humongous men meet me. And they go, can I help you? And I go, my son says y'all the best in custom cars. So we want to come out and introduce ourselves and just see what y'all got going on. They said, they looked at me like I was batshit crazy. And they, they said, well, you're not coming in here. So they lock the door. I'm sitting on the park bench. There's always bad to the bone cars out on the road that they're building and stuff and finished. And so he's looking at the cars and a yellow cab pulls up. This is why I say live in the moment and be engaging. <clears throat> this woman gets out, looks like she's in her fifties and uh, really out of place. And I go, Hey, and she goes, Hey, and she looks at me because I'm out of place too. <laughs> And she goes, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I'm out here to meet these guys because my son says they're the best in custom cars. And we're going to go to this show called Dubs, which are big wheels <clears throat> at the Staples Center this weekend. But he said, they're the best. I said, let's go meet them. And she goes, where are you from? And I said, Tampa. And she goes, you flew here with your son because his passion is custom cars to meet these guys without an appointment. I go, yeah, you don't get to do cool crap by assuming and not being active and getting out there. Mm. You don't get all this stuff. That's why I tell all my young people, don't tell, don't be a two-year-old. Don't accept no. Two years, two-year-olds do not accept no. If you come up and you go, mom, I want a cookie. No, go sit down. Guess what? You think they go, okay, mom, and go sit down? Does a two-year-old do that? No. They <laughs> bug the mom to win. What? And they get a cookie. So I teach all my young people, be a two-year-old. Build out, and I have business models. I, I think I talked to you guys at UT. I have business models, and I teach people how to make a lot of money, but more importantly, how to monetize your passion. Um, Kennedy will pull into Circle K and buy a $1 scratch off with the only money he has on the hot hopes of winning. So what would happen is, is I looked at my guys and I said, hey, let's bet the other three crews a quarter of a man that we can tire steel, pour concrete, finish it, and get it inspected before they can today, quarter of a man. They go, hell yes. So we just started betting amongst the three, four crews. Halfway through the summer, Mr. Young, who owned the company, and my dad, who was his best friend, that's why I got this great job, were in the backyard. And I overheard Mr. Young telling my dad, and this changed my life too. I heard my that Mr. Young tell my dad, Don, I don't know what the hell's going on at my plant. My production's up over 25% for no apparent reason. Yep. Gamified it. We were having fun. And all four crews, we had a blast. Mm. It yep. wasn't the boss telling us, y'all need to work hard. We just had fun. Just and that propelled me into, you know, everything I've ever done in life. Make it fun.